Welcome soldiers, my name is Hybrid V and today I wanted to show off a fun challenge I put together for members of the Forgotten Heralds and that is the No Armor Challenge or what I like to call the Plain Clothes Operator Challenge. Now undoubtedly if you've done any groundside missions in the verse you probably have gone in with at least some weapons and armor. But have you ever actually tried completing them with just clothing and no armor? In the Heralds we always try to push our members to work on their skills both in space and on the ground and we're always looking for unique ways to train these skills. You see, having only clothing adds an element of difficulty to ground missions. The most obvious, of course, is the lack of armor which makes your character easily downed in just a few hits. Secondly, there are no weapon or ammo attach points on clothing. This is because currently in-game, full armor is the only equipment types that have utility functions, allowing you to equip weapons, ammo, and other utility items such as multi-tools and medical devices. Clothing, however, does not as clothing is mostly designed for social gameplay. This of course is slated to change as CIG have stated they do want to add in more functionality for clothing that has holster attach points and armor. However, we're not at that point yet. So with this challenge, you can only bring what you have in your hands and what you have in your pockets. This means you will not only have to pick your primary weapon carefully, but you will also have to deal with inventory management when reloading. You see, you can only reload normally when you have mags attached to the armor of your character. Without those attach points, you are forced to manually reload in the inventory system. This adds a layer of purposeful frustration for our training as we want to maximize the stress being put on the trainee. Those that pick their shots carefully, take cover, and plan out their reloads while maintaining a level head under fire will have an advantage over their opposition. As dealing with stress is an important skill any infantryman needs to learn to practice a condition over time to be effective on the battlefield. All right, with that being said, let's hop on over to the action as we have three two-man fire teams who are going to be working together to clear out bunkers of hostile forces, all while keeping each other alive. So let's see how they do. She's oh, open. Open and close it from this panel. Yes. Let's see. Uh, I gotta love that somewhat. All right, little fish's wheels up. All right, little fish is coming in hot. Ground team prep for deployment. Wheels down. Go, go, go. on the ramp window. Why is it boots on the ground? Pickle is on the ground. Yeah, my Contact straight down the middle. I see. Yeah, there's two right by each other. Opening fire. One moving right. One moving to the mid. Tango down. Another moving mid. Like he's uh, blind firing over the barrier at the middle. Yeah. Tango down. Reloading. Shots. Alright, got you covered. Another target in the middle. Down. Scope's clear so far. Copy, I'm gonna move up to those uh, boxes on your left. Copy that. Moving. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to reload. Let's see what you've got. Well, he's taunting us. Alright, I have successfully reloaded. Good job. Should be more contacts on the right, I believe, last I checked. Okay. 
Copy that. Contact left. Heavy armor. Copy. Tango down. No eyes on any contacts, right? They're probably tucked in that area. Left is clear. At least from my vision. Do we want to move up? Well, we're not going to clear without moving up. Yep. Alrighty. Moving up. I'll be on your six, so for your left shoulder. Copy. Oops, Center. contact mid. Tango down. Nice. How did he call that out after he died? Could have been another contact. True. Incoming contact. Copy. I'm watching left. Out of ammo reloading. Copy. I'm also out. Actually, I got a couple shots left. Reloaded. I'm done. Copy. I'm going to reload. I'm going to get behind this uh, wall here. I got you. Right, I'm loaded. Copy. I'm gonna drive this body. Copy. I'll cover. Well, he's attempting to. No, I'm just gonna loot him. Contact, contact left. Moving uh, oh. three o'clock. Looks relatively clear, they're all downstairs. I'm making another attempt at looting the body. Copy. I'll move back to. Oh, great. Can't grab anything. Gonna have to strip down first, so I'm backing off. Copy. I believe I just heard a door open. I heard it too. And I'm like it was coming from uh, my 12 o'clock. Arm required. You scared the crap out of me. Cool. Contact med. Copy. Moving left. Oop, I'm down. Came up behind us. Now, unfortunately for Fireteam Alpha, they did fail their objectives. They killed a civilian in the line of fire by accident, and they also did lose a team member in the process. However, they did clear the bunker, which is a plus, but unfortunately, the other objectives were not met. Well, hopefully now you can see how difficult this challenge actually is. You need to communicate and coordinate effectively with your battle buddy to actually achieve your objectives in an effective manner. Next up is Fireteam Bravo. Let's see how they do. Hangar door open. Thank you. Engines online. All right, little fish is away. What is gonna Raven? What is gonna happen is that we are gonna clear all hostiles, and there is gonna be some time pause in between, and he will spawn. Usually with heavy armor and some strong weapon. And right. since we cannot see the timer, it's gonna be hell to wait for him. Okay, <sighs> I've, I've never done one of these before. So, do you want to take point? Uh, 
Mm, actually, no, I only have pistol. Take point, please. Okay. Bravo team is tasked with taking out an HVT at a bunker. They must go in, eliminate the pirates at the bunker, and draw the HVT and take him out. Now, the HVT here is an NPC that's wearing heavy armor and has tons of health, making him quite a tricky target to deal with. All right, we're on the deck. Godspeed, Jim. Call last man when ready. Last man. All right, little fish is dusting. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, I seem to have dropped my gun. That must have happened when I got out of the seat. Unfortunately, Fireteam Bravo ran into a huge snag, where one of their members accidentally dropped their primary weapon as they were exiting the Pisces. However, despite this setback, their orders still stand. They have to eliminate the HVT that is actually at this facility, but they're going to have to do it with one member who is not armed. Mid. Yep, I see him. Opening fire. Two mid. Jeez. One right side, have armor. Roger. Mm, I don't see the mid. There's one guy still at the mid. One guy down below just in front of us. Oh, I'm taking fire. Trying to locate the enemy. It's the one in the mid that's shooting. I can't... Oh, just right. Not the one mid. One tango mid uh, uh, down. Another Still one. two mid. Still loading. Roger. Another thing go down. Roger. Reloading again. It's still too mid. Roger that. I have eyes on one. Just... Another mid. Yep, I got three mid. Yep. See two of them. You want to switch positions so you can have a better shot? Let's try that. Running right. over now. Oh! Taking fire. Are you injured? Might be a little bit. I do have a med gun. I have a med gun too. Uh, one moving left. Two moving left. Roger. Right side is clear Wait. so far. Don't go down, one. Roger. Left side. Another thing go bleed, bleed out. I guess got two left. Oh, mid. one in the mid. Two mid. Oh, sh I'm empty. Sorry, my bad. I didn't count. Yeah, there's still one on the left. 
Good job. Uh, I, oh, there's no longer oh. one on the left. No, I think he went to the mid. Yep, one more mid. Yeah, I see two mid currently. Oh, one's down. Mm. Alright, um, I'm going to move towards that body on the down. left. Good job. Come right. on. Alright. Oh. Oh. Maybe not. Get back, get back. Yep. Uh, no idea where they are firing from. It looked like the bullets were coming from mid. Uh, he might be crouched behind, uh, whatever this blue thing is in front of us. Mid down. Reloading. Last mag. Roger. Alright, I'm gonna try moving forward again, to the left. Gotcha. Alright. Alright, moving now. Green. Clear on the right. Oh. Is that a guy? Yep, we got one guy on the left here. Um, I'm right behind you. Okay, he's on the other side of this pillar right here, behind a table. See him? Yep, yep. See him? Alright, I'm gonna try looting this body. He's moving, he's moving. Careful. Alright, I'm watching for him. He's shot. Yeah, I can dead. see him. He's he's still, still over alive. here. Dead or not? He keeps shooting. Still alive. All right. Should be dead by now, but not sure. Be careful. All right. I'm gonna have to strip in order to put on this armor. Yep. Just cover, cover me. Covering. to grab this stuff. Why can't I grab these? Rotate your view a little bit. And then try to drag and sometimes it will kind of come back. The uh, drag and drop will sometimes come back. Okay. Okay, exit the inventory and come back again. Try again. Oh, there you go. There you go. It just fixed itself. But oh, it did. It. Oh, yeah, yep, it did. Okay. It takes Thank sometimes you. a few seconds. Yeah. It's broken again. There we go. Still need to take the gloves off. Oh, shoot. Thank you. A trick afterwards is to just double click the undersuit, you will equip everything. Double click it with F or just. No, as in loot the oh, body. Shoot. Yeah, you have to loot the body and then double click the undersuit from the equipment. Alright. You acquire armor? Yep, armor's acquired. Move to cover. I'm gonna get armor too. Roger. Should I grab a gun too? Uh, wait for me. Uh, Alright. Yep, feel free to grab a gun covering you. Alright, gun acquired. Move to cover. You need to take your shoes off, Ginger. Oh, thanks. Alright, now I'm having trouble equipping my gun. I mean, not equipping my gun, but pulling it out. You press uh, two. Oh, there it goes. Okay. 
All right. Coming up behind you. Yep. Oh god damn it. Ah, uh, I'm dead. Where is he? Uh I fell down into the pit. Oh. <laughs> oh, that figures. Alright, I'll continue the sweep and clear. Yep. yep. He's dead, it's your call now. Okay. Dead men don't speak. Unfortunately, Fireteam Bravo runs into yet another snag where one of their members accidentally fell into the pit and was killed, leaving just the one left. Now, of course, at this point, the objective still stands. However, the second member, Chozo Ravenscar, who is completing the objective here, actually has some armor and some ammo, but he's going to have to play smart at this point. Now, keep in mind, I'm putting some music underneath this because uh, he's not actually transmitting audio on his end, so I'm just going to fill it in. So if you're wondering why you're not hearing any actual combat or sounds and only music, that's the reason why is post hybrid here is just editing in some music to fill in the gaps. Now he's rapidly clearing here, but you have to pay attention to your ammo count as you're doing this because, of course, you can take ammo from the enemies, but remember that this mission is where you have to take out an HVT. And if you're not careful, the HVT will actually spawn in and you may not know where he is. There is a marker that will show up where he's at, but the problem is, is you don't know how many more enemies are left. I can see the mission marker. They technically can, but there is a small bug where if you're wearing clothing and you switch to armor, you may not see your objectives until you retract the mission. So that's probably why he couldn't see it. Luckily, I did call out when the enemy actually showed up on site and then he had to engage. But of course, he's very limited on ammo and the HVT... Uh, boss actually has a ton of health and is in heavy armor, making this fight very tricky. So he opted to use the Ravager in this fight, but the thing is, is the Ravager is really bad at this medium range. So while you can flank and attack the HVT, the problem is, is it doesn't do very good damage unless you get extremely close. He's already down to his only mag with only four rounds left. And at this point, he's going to have to source a new weapon if he wants to take out the HVT. Again, the HVT has a lot of health and is in heavy armor, so he could easily gun him down if he's not careful. He empties out the mag, and now it's time to source a new weapon and to continue the engagement here. So now he's sourcing a P4, but he immediately takes some fire. Luckily, he didn't take anything too serious. His armor took the hits, but all he has is the single mag to defend himself with and to finish the objective. So at this point, he needs to play smart. He needs to find his opportunities and pick his battles. So he rushes across to some cover, takes out one of the goons, immediately uh, hits R to reload, thinking that he has extra mags just because it's muscle memory, and of course he only has just the single mag in the weapon. He ends up flanking the boss, shooting him a couple times, but doesn't get the kill and unfortunately gets the click of death. So now he has to source yet another weapon. This point is very tricky right here because he is slightly out of cover, but he gets lucky as he's trying to pick up the weapon. The HVT actually tries to switch positions, thus giving him time to actually grab his gun. Now he tries to come around the corner here and he flanks him and the AI was taking aim at him here, but luckily he did take him down and it took a couple extra shots because at that range, the C-54 is a little bit weak, unfortunately. Target neutralized. Roger that, take what you can, prepare for exfil. Now at this point, although Bravo team did lose a member, unfortunately, they did however clear the mission and actually succeed in their objectives. So let's go ahead now and get them back up and let's grab Fire Team Charlie and see how they do. Uh, little fishes on the deck. Roger. Do you want to wait till you're back in the belly of the beast, so to speak? Or do you want to go for the debrief now? You can do it now, as we're uh, exfil, because we're pretty much safe here. Right. Last man. <laughs> and there's your, uh, your piece you left behind. Yep.
the little fishes away. gentlemen now of course you'll see here that ghost rider's stream was actually lagging pretty hard so eventually i do cut that stream and just focus on jan shiro's point of view so i do apologize for that if it's a little jarring i will get rid of that a little bit later in the recording taking the left cover all right what is that? bogey right side opening fire bogey left One more will be right side. Try and go down on the left. Then go down. Then go left side. Middle. Go left side down. And go left side. There's one on left. Going in and out of the elevator. Moving towards the left. Yep. Covering you. Then go mid. Then go mid. I don't have a clear shot. Coming towards you, coming towards you. Another tango coming towards you. One tango down. I need to reload, so I'm gonna run a little bit. Yep. I got you covered. I have some obstetrician coming up. Where are you? You in that left area? I'm where still we in the left cover. I'm still in the left cover. Behind you. Do you see me? Yeah, I don't see you. I'm behind you. Oh! I'm down. I'm down too. Ground team is down. And with that, Charlie team is down. Unfortunately, they didn't meet any of their objectives, and of course, they were wiped out. And this concludes my clothing only or plain clothes operator challenge here. I highly recommend you give this a shot. If you've been doing a lot of bunkers yourself, and you've been farming rep or whatever, or you've been going for the coveted level five rep, I highly recommend you give this a shot if you feel like they've been kind of boring you a little bit. I do know that the slog of grinding levels within the reputation system for the ground bunkers can be quite tedious after a while. So if you really want to change things up, I highly recommend you give this a shot. It's really, really fun to try. Yes, I know the AI is not always the greatest. They tend to have a very long response time. But the cool thing about this challenge is it will punish you if you decide to get a little bit lazy in your tactics. So if you're trying to sprint through things super fast, or you're not thorough in your clearing of corners and cover, or you're just simply not attentive enough to what's going on around you, you will get punished. And it's pretty fun though, if you like that extra bit of challenge. All right, folks, thank you for hanging out with me today and checking out the plain clothes challenge. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. It really does help the channel out. And of course, if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. Until next time, fly safe and I'll see you all in the black.